As this video is on security policy rules on the Juniper Alex firewall. Um, just to give you a quick overview of security policies. Uh, the security policy enforces rules for packets that are transiting through the firewall where traffic enters one security zone and it exits another. Uh, the default policy, if there are no policies to process certain traffic, a system default policy exists which denies all traffic. Uh, there's a traffic criteria, so traffic is typically classified by matching a particular set of criteria and the most common ones are uh, the source and destination zone and the source and destination IP addresses as well as the application services. On branch series of sites devices there are some factory default security policies predefined which permit uh, all traffic from the trust zone to the untrust zone and denies all traffic from the untrust zone to the trust zone. Uh, these can be removed and they're just on the appliance to be a bit more plug and play so if a user plugs the SRX into his network it will just uh, root packets without having to do anything. In some of my previous videos, uh, the Juniper SRX videos, I've already created security zones, addresses and services so I'll be using some of these to create my firewall policy for this video. So let's uh, do a uh, firewall policy demo. So if I go to the console and go to uh, edit mode and if we type edit security policies and specify the from zone so where we're coming from which zone if we do a question mark I've got a land zone in here then where we're going to which zone so to zone and if I do a question mark again I've got a one zone so we will create a policy and we'll name it LAN underscore one uh, so LAN to one if I click enter hit enter I've got to uh, specify the criteria to match now so if I do a set match and then I can do a question mark and here's the uh, criteria I can specify so if I do source address so I can match on a source address. I've already got one called LAN, so I'll use that. Hit enter again. I'll do set match and match it on a destination address. I can just use any, um, so any destination address. Um, and then what I can do is match it on a, an application. So set match. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Sorry. Let's do application and then. Um, question mark and I've got two at the very top called app set one and custom app one those are my uh, application I've created but then there's all the predefined ones as well uh, that are already on the appliance uh, by Juniper so I'll do control C just to cut this bit short and then I'll do uh, custom app one so I've matched my criteria, the final bit is the action to take, so the the way we do the action is a set, uh, if I do a question mark there's a then statement at the bottom which um, uh, provides the action, so set then a question mark and we can see the actions here, so I can do a permit and um, permit basically uh, permits the traffic unless it's blocked by some other element of the firewall such, such as um, the uh, antivirus or IPS or uh, another service but from the perspective of the initial policy lookup the packet is permitted. Uh, there's also count so uh, the count performs a count of the number of bytes transmitted in this policy. Uh, we can also uh, deny the policy which uh, basically silently drops all packets for the session. We've got log as well so by default the SRX will not log any firewall rules passing through the device so it's good to turn this on but there's two forms of logging uh, the first one is called session initialization and uh, it's good for when uh, denying rejecting policies when the traffic is immediately closed or when you want to be notified when a session is open such as for troubleshooting purposes and the second type of log is session close 
which is the ideal option when permitting traffic so the session close has a lot more information than the session initialization uh, such as the uh, bytes or packets sent and received and the reason for closing the session the final one is the reject um, with this the firewall basically sends a TCP reset if the protocol is TCP and an ICMP reset for any other IP protocol so if we do a set then permit and we hit enter we can also do a set then uh, log and then we, we can do a question mark and we can see the two options session close session initialization uh, let's do session initialization we can actually just do them both so you, you can turn them both on that's fine just bear in mind that the more logs turned on uh, the, the, the quicker it will fill your hard drive space and the session close one has a lot more information so that will fill it up a lot quicker um, okay so we can also do a, a set, set then count and um, we can do a show just to see what we have uh, as our policy so the policy is from uh, zone LAN to zone 1 and we've called it LAN to 1 uh, we're matching this criteria so we're matching a source address called LAN so if that's matched the destination can be anything and if it matches my application custom app 1 then we're going to take some action so the action is to permit uh, to log on session initialization and log on session close as well as do a account for this uh, policy we can also um, create a global policy as well which matches all policies regardless of the security zone and it's good to use at the very bottom of your firewall policy as a deny all rule with logging enabled so um, as with the predefined implicit deny all rule at the end of the policy uh, that you don't have to um, specify because it's implicit it does not log traffic so the explicit global rule with logging is, is uh, essential here so if we go to the top of the hierarchy and then type um, let's do edits uh, security policies and then this time we're doing global it, so a global policy it, it doesn't take zones into consideration it's for any zone regardless of the zone uh, and if we do policy and if we give it a, the policy a name so we'll call it deny hyphen all so we're denying everything with this policy and we'll also call it log because we're denying everything and we're logging as well and if we click hit enter and then we can specify our criteria here so set uh, match um, source address source address uh, let's go for anything we can do destination address straight after it let's go for anything again and we can go for application as well and then do uh, anything so we're matching on anything and then if we do if we hit enter here uh, we've uh, specified what we are matching on then what we can do is uh, specify the action so that will be set then I want to deny so let's do set then deny and the key bit which is to uh, log as well set then log and let's just do session initialization okay so I've done that and we can do a show show again yep yeah. so <clears throat> we can see the policy so on this one it's um, edit security policies this time it's global so it's, it doesn't take the zones into consideration where you're coming from which zone you're coming from which zone you're going to I've named the policy deny all so it's going to deny absolutely everything and it's going to log it's going to match on these uh, sets of criteria source address destination address of any any application any and it's going to take some actions of deny and it's also going to log on session initialization uh, which is 
great for troubleshooting. Um, and that's pretty much it. So what we can do if we go to the top of the hierarchy, I do this with every single change, uh, regardless of what the change is, whether it's security policy or any anything else. Uh, I always do show compare. It will just show you what you have um, changed. If you've taken any configuration away, there'll be a minus. If you've added any configuration, there'll be a plus on the left hand side here. I also do a, a commit check before I commit just to ensure there's no errors and, and the uh, commit will succeed. And once that's done, I do a commit. And that's committed successfully. Thank you for watching.